Play viewers, hello, live viewers. Welcome, welcome, and thank you for tuning in to my broadcast on how to support a friend that's on the crazy grind right now, who totally needs your support. They're out chasing a dream. I shouldn't say chasing. They're pursuing a dream, a passion, something they've always wanted to do. And right now they're just on a mission. And you know what? They could really use your support. And some of us are approaching our friends so, so, so the wrong way. Hello, Markham973. Thanks for joining. Today we are going to be talking about how to just be a good friend to your friend who's grinding right now. They're trying to start a business. They went back to school. Hello, QV Network. Thank you for joining. Thank you so much. Today we are just going to be talking about how to be a good friend to your friend, your colleague, your family member who's on the grind right now and they just need some support. It could be you. It could be you, the person who's saying this year, I'm really going to get my business going. I'm going back to school. I'm taking things serious and you're really on your grind and what you need is support. And so in this scope, this is, uh, I'm going to say this is about friendship and about learning to support people and, and be a true friend and support people who are just grinding right now um, because they really do need your support, especially new entrepreneurs, someone who's decided to go back to school or really pursue their purpose and, you know, everything they do. Hello, girl on the right. Hi, how are you? Thank you for tuning in. Glad you could make it today. And um, I'm going to be talking about how to support, and I'm sure you'll be able to re relate to this, uh, Miss Girl on the Right, Mrs. Girl on the Right, um, just how to be a good friend and be supportive with your friends who are grinding right now, trying to get businesses off the ground, uh, maybe going back to school, trying to pursue things, and they just really need support. And sometimes we can just go on our way and, and not really pay attention. We see them putting the post out on Facebook. We see them, you know, making reference to it. But every time we see them, they're talking about their business or going back to school or how they're working on some project, how, trying to be better. We see them, but we don't really go out of our way to support them. And they need that support from us. And so in this scope, I just want to give you four ways to support your friend that's grinding. They're on a mission. All, they're, they're eating and breathing their purpose right now. And there's a way you can show love and be a true friend to that person. So I'm going to get started. I have some notes here and I'm even watching the clock so I don't take up too much of your precious time. But these are precious words and your friends who you're going to support in a completely different way are going to love you for the way you're going to support them after this scope. So I'm first I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Rhonda Kennard. I'm the founder of alifeignited.com. I'm a mom of two, a wife, an author, speaker, and your Ignited Life Coach. I love inspiring and motivating people to get out of their ruts, pursue their purpose with passion and thrive in life. I teach people how to ignite their inner fuse, set good goals and actually achieve them so that they can walk in purpose and prosperity as they pursue their goals and dreams and walk in happiness, fulfillment and greater success in life. So how to be a better friend to your entrepreneur friend, your friend who's going back to school, someone who's just on their grind right now. They need your support. They need you to show love. They need you to acknowledge that they're in this game right now and that they're working so hard. They're putting every ounce of money, energy, time, effort. They're up late studying, working on business plans, um, watching Periscopes, getting tips from other entrepreneurs. And if you're not pursuing something like that right now, you may not always understand their grind. And they may seem they may even seem a little crazy to you because you're like, wow, they are always talking about this business. They are serious. And they really do need support from that non-entrepreneurial friend and, and company that they keep. So the first thing I wanted to tell you is to just be encouraging to your friend. Be encouraging and supportive without reason. So it's not about being supportive when you see them down trodden. Because you know what? As entrepreneurs, a lot of times we put on a happy face because we're faithful and we believe in our businesses. But let me tell you, it is hard work trying to run a business, trying to learn how to market your business, keep a website up, um, 
network with people, pay the bills of the business, get new clients, work on content, blog, post on Facebook, Periscope. There is so much that a new entrepreneur has to do. And we're not even just talking about entrepreneurs. We're talking about someone who maybe is going back to school. They're just pursuing a purpose or a dream and they're really into it right now. And there's so much that needs to happen. And so they need your support. How can you show support without reason? Meaning just for no reason, you just want to support your friend. Well, one of the ways you can do this, and this is what I do. Um, one of the ways that I support other entrepreneur friends that I have, um, um, obviously if you're a friend, you should have their cell phone number. Send texts to that person, maybe once a week, um, you know, or every time you think about it, but minimum once a week, send a text message to your friend with a quote. You know how you can scroll down Facebook or Twitter, or even Instagram, and people post, um, you know, a, a motivational something, you know, um, success is a choice or keep grinding, don't give up, you're so close, don't let fear stop you, be courageous, leap and the net will follow. Send your friend one of those types of posts once a week. Don't add anything else to it. Just let them know that you're thinking of them. Acknowledge that they're in a situation right now where they may be struggling. And at the moment that they get that text from you, that could have been the moment that they were thinking about giving up. That could have been the moment that they were saying, this is just too much. I don't know if I'm built for all of this. I don't know how to market. I don't know how to do lead pages. I don't know what lead generation is. And then they get this text from you. And it just it's just a divine intervention. And they'll know that while someone is watching me, someone cares about me and someone understands my struggle. Be supportive in that way. Instant messages. I've had people instant message me at a time when I need it most. A friend of mine sent me an instant message last week and it was of a man he was carrying a cross and it felt like it was too much for him to bear. And he asked God to just please deliver me from this load is too much to bear. So when this little cartoon of the man with the cross, uh, God chops the cross in half. And then the guy's like, thank you, God. Now I don't have such a heavy load. To, to carry. Well, he gets to a point where there's a gap in the road. And so in order to get over that gap, he needed that cross, that test, that trial, that struggle to get him from where he was to the next level. But he had already asked God to just chop that cross and, and loosen up uh, some of the burden. And so, uh, you know, God appears, this is all a cartoon, but God appears and says, Listen, I gave you that load because I needed to prepare you for what's to come. But then God, you know, lays down and then the guy walks over him and he moves to the next level. But I'll tell you, at the moment that someone sent me that instant message, oh my gosh, I needed that message because sometimes... I feel overwhelmed and I feel like, oh my goodness, there's so much to do. And then I'm a mother of two and a wife. So I'm constantly trying to manage and juggle being a mother of two active, wonderful, amazing born champions and a wife. Um, me and my husband are like best friends. So we're always doing things and, and we have other businesses. So we're trying to work those things out. And then, you know, be brilliant in my business. And so when she sent me that message that this cross is not too much to bear. You are just being prepared for what's to come. I needed that. And imagine if you did that for your friend. So be supportive in that way. Text message, instant messages, um, email. Hey girl, hey dude, how you doing? Just checking on you. I know you're working hard on your business. I just want you to know I'm cheering for you. I'm rooting for you. I love you. And I'm there if you need anything. Now, what I don't want you to do, thinking you're being supportive, is when you see your friend, ask them, so, how's business? <laughs> I feel like that is the worst question you can ask someone. How's business? Now, when people ask me that question, how's business, I respond, which one? And people, then it gets weird because they don't, they don't know that I have multiple businesses and what are you talking about? But as someone who's supporting someone else, do not ask a person how's business because if business isn't doing great or a person is feeling stressed out or how's school and maybe they just got a grade back and it was an F, they're going to feel awful at the moment that you ask them, how's school going? How's, how's business? How's work? So I have some alternatives for you instead of asking those questions. And these are ways to be more supportive. You would be surprised just the change in your verbiage and the change in your tone could make such a big difference when you are supporting your friends. 
So instead of asking, so how how is work? How's business? Right? Because honestly, business could suck right now. Person could be stressed out. They're ready to throw in the towel, towel, and they just don't, you know, feel like business is great. So that's not a good question to ask. So here are some alternatives. What are you learning about running your business? What are you learning about going back to school and juggling everything and being a mom and a wife or, you know, being an adult learner and in this, you know, new phase in this millennial, like with millennials? How's that? You know, ask a question that's probing that allows a person to give you an open question that has some positivity to it. So you're not asking a question that really is open to negativity, but you allow a person to answer you in a way where they can actually say something positive. What are you learning? What are you learning about running a business? Tell me some of the exciting things that are happening. Wow, you seem like you have it all together. I salute you. How are you juggling everything? Um, another question you could ask is, oh my gosh, tell me about one of your craziest clients, right? Because in that moment, now we can add a little humor to the conversation and humor is always good. Humor always makes people feel better. Another question you can ask is, how do you help people? Wow, Rhonda, how are you? <laughs> how are you juggling everything? Well, I will tell you, girl on the right, God sent me a helpmate. And I'll tell you, in, in terms of being a mom and a wife, I have to be honest, I don't do it on my own. I do it with the the on the shoulders of my husband who, you know, we're a team. And I'm sure you'll be able to relate to this. We're a team and, and we juggle things. But outside of me being able to say, okay, it's your turn to pick up kids and it's my turn to do this, I really plan. I plan out my days. I plan out what I'm going to do. I want to grab something really quickly. I'm going to get out of view. I actually don't want to get out of view. I was going to grab something and show you, but I have a calendar. I have goals that I said, actually, I'm going to grab it because it's important you see it. In 30 seconds, I'm going to keep talking, but okay. Sorry about that. I have goals and I'm not going to show you all of this, but these are my goals for February. And on the back, I have quadrants. You can see one, two, three, four. And I have quadrants for each week. I know exactly what I need to do for each week to pursue my goals and um, achieve them for February, for every month. And that's how I maintain what needs to happen in my business, um, what needs to happen in my personal life, and what needs to happen with um, the other businesses that I run as well. I also keep one heck of a planner and a calendar. So I keep it all together that way. And then I make sure I leave time for me. I'm not so aggressive in my business that I lose sight of who I am. That's why I don't look crazy. <laughs> I don't look as crazy as things are because I allow myself time to uh, refuel and regenerate uh, and just reconnect to Rhonda. And then I can give to everyone else. I can't give to everyone else if I'm just a big nut basket because I'm busy all the time. And that's what I think is an important message um, that a lot of coaches don't give because a lot of times, um, you know, we take it from the angle, assuming that people don't have other obligations, but people are caregivers, their parents, their husbands, wives, their volunteers, um, you know, their deacons at their churches, uh, pastors, um, all kinds of things. Entrepreneurs, they have second jobs. You know, there's so many things that people do, and so it's just important to just plan and don't bite off too much, too much more than you can chew. So I'm going to get back on topic. So another question you can ask is how do you help people? And uh, lastly, I'm going to give you another example of a good question you can ask a friend who needs your support during their journey. Uh, that was really good. Thank you. Um, another question you can ask is what opportunities will open up? If you think that was really good, heart me up. Give me some tap, 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 to the tap, tap, taps. Tap me up. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So um, another question that will open up positivity as opposed to making a person feel bad if they're in a uh, just in a mood that day where they don't feel good. Thank you being Mrs. Mom. Thank you for joining so much. Another question. We're just chatting away here about how you can be a good friend to your entrepreneurial friend who's grinding right now or just someone in your life that's just on the grind. They've gone back to school or they're working on some project, really just trying to develop themselves and be a better person. How you can encourage and support that person because sometimes we, we see their 
Facebook posts, we see their Instagram, we see them doing Periscope, and we don't really recognize that this person really needs support. Because when you're trying to pursue your passion and you're purposeful and, and you have the intent from the time you open your eyes to the time you go to bed to just pursue these things, it's hard and it's tough. And sometimes you just need people to just love on you and, and be a good friend and support and encourage you. And so these are just tips. So if you have a friend like that, you can encourage them in this way. So the last question you can ask, as opposed to, yes, the last person, you, the last type of question you can ask is what opportunities will open up? And I think that's a wonderful question because what that does is allows the person, hello, intuitive now, thank you for joining. What that does is gives the person an opportunity to remind themselves why they started because if you ask that kind of question well what kind of opportunity opportunities are going to open up a person says, well, you know, hi, how are you? Thank you so much for joining. I'm Rhonda Kennard, the founder of alifeignited.com. And we're talking about ways to just support your entrepreneur friend, your friend who just has some special thing they're working on in their lives and how you can just support that person and love on them as they're going through the journey, which is difficult and challenging at times. And so uh, when you ask what opportunities will open up, that person is reminded. That person's reminded of why they started and then it just in that moment, they're going to get fueled up again. Hello, Chocolate Zulu. Thanks for joining. Okay, so those are the types of questions you can ask. Another thing you can do is share their business. If you know your friend is in business, hello, how are you, Chocolate Zulu? Welcome. Thank you for joining. We're just talking about ways you can love on your friends and be a good friend um, when you know someone started something new in their lives and, and you just want to support them the way you would want someone to support you as you were on your journey. You know, sometimes we look happy and we look like all is well, but everybody is fighting a battle right now. Everybody. And we may not look like we are. I don't look like I am, but I'm having a surgery on March 7th. I'm not sweating it. I'm not worried about it, but I am. But people might see me and want to, you know, talk about some things. Yes, people might want to talk about some things. And, you know, and, and I'm like, really, I've got other things going on. I need your encouragement. You know, we can always encourage one another, whether we look like we need encouragement or not. So number two, share their business. If you know that someone has a business, if they have a daycare, you know, put that on your Facebook page. You may not have children you could send to that daycare. You know, you may not even want to send your kids to that type of daycare. Hello, B. Brown educator. But what you can do is share their business. Tell other people about it. When you're in conversation, you know, hey, my friend has a daycare. Oh my gosh, my friend is going to school for that. Oh yes, yeah, my friend has a coaching business. She's writing a book. It's good. It's available on Amazon. Share their business. You may not always be able to patronize them and support them financially but getting the word out exposure sometimes is is more valuable than you buying the product or the service so share their business and then um, patronize them if you can um, number four I should have put this as number one pray for your friends sometimes you don't know what people need right because we're not always telling our business and telling everything that's going on so you may not be able to pinpoint where you can support me the best but what you can always do is just pray my strength strength and my resilience and my longevity girl you're on it now yes just pray for your friends i pray for you girl on the right i'll be praying for you being mrs mom listen we are all in some struggle and some journey and we just need positive words words are power and when you don't know what else to say for people all you can do is pray yes it is a powerful tool a tool we don't always pull out the toolbox but necessary especially when you're with your friends you don't know what everybody needs so the best thing you can do is just pay pray for people strength and their growth and their resilience through the struggle and the challenge. The last thing I would suggest is that you listen. And don't just listen for the happiness with the person. Listen, if you're in tune, you can hear the frustration. You can hear the struggle. And just listen to your friend. Allow them to tell you what's going on. And they may open up and say, oh my God, this is so hard and so difficult. You know, just allow them to speak and be themselves and, and let them know that it's okay. Because anything you're pursuing is going to be difficult. Starting a new business, going back to school, writing a book, all these things that you're trying to pursue. If it were easy, everyone would be doing it. But everyone's not doing it. And that's what's going to make them great. This follow through and they need good friends and a support system behind them. Now, I'm going to go off my notes here and I'm not going to hold you guys up too much longer. But what I did want to say to you is that if you have friends in your life and they are not supporting you the way you want them to support you, 
listen, do not get mad at them. Do not write them off. Do not say this person didn't even buy my book. This person didn't even, when they saw me, they didn't ask about the business. What I have learned about people is they can only give you what they have. So they may not know how to support a friend who's an entrepreneur. They may not know how to support a friend who's on the grind and is just so passionate about their purpose like you. They've probably never met anybody like you. And they're like, oh my gosh. You know, I know in my family, when we talk about entrepreneurship, yes, it's so true. People are looking at us i mean me and my brother my brother's a dj in new york and we have a couple of the entrepreneurs and our family's looking like what's wrong with you guys just get jobs get jobs and get a paycheck you're crazy so they don't know how to support us and you know what we can't look at them and say they don't support us the way we want to be supported we have to understand that this is new to them and so the best thing i can say is just keep on your grind if it's that important to you the support you get from someone you can mention i really need your support can you pray for me tonight can you bless me with a kind word when you see me because sometimes girl i'll be going through i just need your love and i need your powerful words and your prayer Tell people what you need because sometimes they don't know. But do not hold it against people and hold grudges when you feel like they're not supporting you the way you want them to. In many ways, yes, support equals encouragement. Yes, yes, yes. Because sometimes people just don't know. They're giving you all they have and maybe they don't even know what real support encouragement looks like. So just be patient. Love is patient. Love is kind. I say this all the time, you know, love is grace and just be, you know, gracious with people and understand they are only giving you what they know. So I hope, I hope, I hope we learned something here today about uh, how to be good friends to our friends who are just really pursuing things. Um, just bless them, pray for them, um, be encouraging, smile, give them questions that allow them to remember why they started, to focus on their finish, and let people know that no matter what, that you love them, whether they're successful, they're having a great year, a bad year, because that's what love is. Love is free. It doesn't require you to perform in any way. But be a good friend, love on your friends, and I hope you guys have a blessed day. And if you guys are entrepreneurs, amen, and doing things in your lives and you're trying to make things happen in your business, I'm praying for your abundance and your prosperity. And I'm just asking God to touch your lives and your businesses and just rain down abundance on your life like you've never, ever seen before. So have a good one, guys. I'll see you on my next scope.